Hi, welcome to Mindful Conversations. My name is Greg Dwyer. My guest today is Carol Moore. She's a good friend of mine, and I'm very grateful because if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here today. Carol, thank you so much. It's so nice to be here. So you started in television in Litchfield how many years ago? About 20 years ago. Um, it was a fluke. My son was working at the station with uh, a bunch of uh, um, kids in his class doing something called brainstorming, and I had to pick him up. Mm -hmm. And every time I picked him up, I was chit-chatty. I'm mm -hmm. a chit-chatty person. So I was talking to the director, and the director found out that I was a painter and a potter. I right. was going to school for it at the time. Okay. I um, went to school at uh, 46. I became a college freshman and took my art classes. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to see what I was doing. So they had a program on a Friday night called TGIF. Mm -hmm. And they wanted me to be a guest on it. They had three guests. So I would come with my pottery or painting and sit there and talk. And um, it got so that one day he said, Carol, Carol, you have to come. Our guest isn't coming. You have to fill in. Oh. So I became a fill-in. Okay. And then uh, the man uh, had a, a change in his life. Okay, You sure. know, his wife had... Uh, been sick and she died and mm -hmm. he didn't want to continue with the show so Ed said to me Carol you want to do a TV show and I I said sure sounds familiar yeah that's exactly happened to me yeah. the same thing and so then I went home and I was shaking I said what did I just say <laughs> yes to I'm the one who took zero in high school because I wouldn't give an oral book report you I were really shy right painfully shy right. so shy not as a, a, <clears throat> a young, young child, but as a, as a, a school person, I was very shy. Mm -hmm. um, reasons for it. Okay. We lived in Milton. Mm -hmm. um, we were isolated. Yeah. My father had our only car. We didn't have any relatives. Mm -hmm. uh, I was a family of nine. I got along great with all my siblings, but we didn't have outside um, Relationships. Well, Milton, you could almost hide there because it's so exclusive. When and quiet, I was right? a kid, yes, right. every other house was vacant. When I was a kid, there was only one tarred road. Yeah, it was all. It was very isolated, and of course, my mom didn't have a car. Mm -hmm. So every fall, I would get on the school bus and go to school, and see everybody that I hadn't seen since the last school year because there wasn't anybody in Milton my age. Interesting. So I think that contributed to me being so shy. So how did you break out of it? Um, break out of shyness. I mean, was it the television show? No. Or something else? When I was 30 years old, I belonged to the Junior Women's Club mm -hmm. and I had to give a report. Okay. And that was the first time I ever spoke in front of people. And so you got At up in 30, front and you just spoke. I had everything <laughs> written in great big print and I said what I had to say and then afterwards I realized I left half of it out uh, and it didn't make any difference. Right. So that was the beginning. And you learned a lesson there because I know on your show, mm -hmm. which is called Vignette, Vignette you don't yeah. script it. I learned not to. And why? Um, in the beginning, I would write everything down, and it was so boring because, yeah. you know, you were reading things, and you would ask questions, and, and people wanted to know the questions you were going to ask, yep. and mm -hmm. they wanted to have certain things said. And when the show became my show, mm -hmm. after um, uh, they asked me to do the show, and the original director was gone. Mm -hmm. I said, yes, I'll do it if I can do it my way. Wow. And they said, okay, what's your way? I said, I want one guest yep. for an hour, mm -hmm. and um, I'm not doing any jokes, and I'm not doing any of this other nonsense that you wanted me to do. What do they want you to do, like stand up? Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm not a stand I can't do it. Did it was have, awful. Did you it, have a cue card was, guy, uh, or, or what no, happened? No, it was called... Oh, what was it? Uh, a late night with Carol? Internet. Uh, well, it was horrible. It was okay. horrible. So I named the show Vignette. It right. used Why? To be Why did you name it that? Because a vignette is a part of a whole. Oh, very nice. It is, in a painting, it is a, like a doorway, and it fades off into whiteness, and then you have your frame. And I felt that I could not tell everybody's whole story. I could only tell a little bit of the story. Oh. So that's... That's very symbolic. Yes. That's very, yes. I love that. Yeah. Okay. So that was Vignette. And then I started doing my own thing. Mm -hmm. And um, 
Gosh, I loved it. And now you can't go anywhere in the Litchfield Hills area yeah. without someone saying, yeah. I saw yeah. you on TV, yeah. right? Yeah. What's or that I like? love your show. What's that like for the last 10, 15 um, years? People recognizing it you. It has been wonderful because I was one of nine kids. Mm -hmm. I was a good little kid, mm -hmm. so I didn't get my one-ninth of attention. <laughs> now you do. Now I get all the attention in the world, and I think I needed it mm -hmm. at that in the beginning. I think I really, really liked the fact that people noticed me and knew who I was. Sure. So I think most people who are in the public eye have that part of them that you want to get that out. It's only happened to me once. <laughs> that th somebody came up to yeah, you? Yeah, they said, oh, I saw your show the other day. And I'm like, oh, really? so you were the one. <laughs> That's what I said to them. Oh. So now you retired. Tell us about that and why um, you did that. Well, it, I became a grandmother. Oh, congratulations. And, oh, it was, I never thought I'd be a grandmother. And uh, four years ago, uh, this wonderful little girl mm -hmm. came into my life, Charlie. Mm -hmm. And... The day that I was going to have her on a weekly basis mm -hmm. was the day I did the TV show. Oh, okay. And I tried to make dinner for everybody, you know, her parents and everybody, and then run and leave and do the show, mm -hmm. and it was it was getting to be complicated. And you don't also eat before a show either, right? No, you don't I eat a big meal. I don't like to eat right. because, first of all, it sits heavy in your stomach. Exactly. And God forbid you belched or exactly. something. You know? That's embarrassing because you're really going from you know tape to yeah. you know, live or whatever. Yeah. You're not going to do it two or three times. No, my so. my show was taped like a live show. It right, was exactly. not a live show, but we didn't stop for anything. Exactly. So if you sneezed or right. somebody blew their nose, that was just the way it was. That's that was right. part of the show. Which is fun. Remember when that was in the 60s and yeah. 70s? They yeah. did live television? Yeah. Yeah. It was nicer that way, I think. Well, I, I really liked it, and it became... Um, sometimes it was very intimate mm -hmm. because people forgot that they were on television and they were talking about what they loved to do. I interviewed people. Mm -hmm. In fact, I interviewed you. That's why I'm here. You interviewed yeah. me and then a year later I was interviewed yeah. by you again and yeah. then Doug said, hey, you want a show? And I'm like, yeah. And he goes, no, go home and think about it. I said, yeah. no, let's just yeah. do it. So yeah. we've been doing it for about a year and a half now I and had, now we're here. Yeah, and I had two spinoffs from my show. That's right. And that's a pretty nice feeling. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it was a wonderful thing that I did. It was just, uh, I got to meet you. I got to, oh, I had professional clowns on. Mm -hmm. I've had uh, Irish dancers. Mm -hmm. I had scouts. I had a man who would find any excuse to come on my show. Really? Oh, yes. He started out with 4-H, and then he... Uh, um, was collecting historical things okay. uh, from uh, Torrington, and they were just little tiny art articles out of the newspaper. Oh, nice. Every year he came on, and he wanted to come on. Wow. I let him on. And you let him on. Of course I sure. did. Of sure. course I did. Nice. It meant so much to him. Have you ever figured out how many shows you did in 20 years? You ever no, calculated? That would be amazing. No, because I did it. Uh, for the first maybe seven, eight years, I did a, a show every single week. That's amazing. There was not, I didn't take any time off at all. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until, um, I didn't take time off until maybe about the last three years. Okay. And then, uh, you know, I'd say, okay, I'm off for right. a couple of weeks and stuff like that. Right. It's a lot of people. Yeah, it is yeah. a lot of people. Yeah. In fact, you could probably write a book. If you could go back and think about, who you interviewed, I think you I could do think that. That would be amazing. It. I think about it because um, I actually had uh, girls on from uh, a place in uh, Litchfield that, that takes teenage girls that mm -hmm. are, are troubled okay. and it's their last chance to uh, not be put into juvenile jail or okay, something. Okay, sure, yeah. And um, they came on my show and they had on black lipstick and black clothing and uh, they they were just totally uh, their eyes were made up so much and they had a poetry teacher that's a volunteer that had gone in there mm -hmm. and they read their poems and I had all I could do not to cry um. it was one of the most emotional shows I have ever done wow. the pain that these girls had mm -hmm. gone through sure. and that they were writing about it and mm -hmm. able to talk about that's it. good therapy yeah it's good yeah. Therapy. so it was yeah. uh, I, that was a show that I'll never forget mm -hmm. and then 
this gentleman that wanted to come on all the time, the first time he came on, he had a rabbit and a dove. Why? Because he had a 4-H group or something. Oh. And he had three little kids sitting on the floor, and he opened the box for the dove, and the dove flew across the studio, <laughs> and the cameraman <laughs> caught it the whole oh, way. That's great. That's it was great. It was wonderful. That's so funny. It was wonderful. But any, any big mistakes that happened, or anything like really uh, funny, or... Things that maybe I had I had a guy who liked to sing karaoke. Was he any good? He had a pretty nice voice. Okay. But he would have the song, and the song had the music and everything, and he would stand there ramrod straight, and he would sing to the music, and mm -hmm. then he would take his hand and he'd go like this when there was a little musical interlude, <laughs> and then he'd put his hand Almost down. like a character, like yeah. a comedian, really. And, but he was so stoic about it all. Uh, and then afterwards, I won't mention his yeah. name, but I'd say to him, oh, you really like to sing. Yeah, yeah, Carol, like to sing. I said, well, how long have you been singing? Singing a long time, Carol. Yep. Probably yeah. not somebody you want to interview, right? Oh. Right? Oh, you mean uh, that was the interview? You that did was the interview? the interview. Oh, and you, then oh. he would he would say, I would say, uh, do you like singing? Yeah, yeah, like singing. Oh no. He, so maybe I it, could not get a conversation going with oh. him at all. Yeah. He answered every question I asked yes. with the same or no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was my question parroted back. Yes, uh -huh. like to sing. Yeah. Yeah, like to sing. Yeah, I don't yeah. know about you, but I'd be sweating. I'd be like. I didn't sweat, but I did an awful lot of talking. Yeah. I had to. It's not I easy. To, you no. know, when you have a guest like yourself, yeah. you have somebody that's engaged and they just go with yeah. the flow. I've had people say, let's script everything. And I said, mm -mm. No, no, there's no way. It's too stiff. It's too stiff. Uh, I found that the people who wanted to come on my show mm -hmm. had a reason. Right. They were either promoting an event, they yep. were promoting themselves, they were yep. promoting a book or yep. paintings sure. or something. They were talking about something they loved. Exactly, which is easy to talk about. So when I would ask, who are you? Mm -hmm. What do you do? Right. Why do you do it? Exactly. Do you like doing it? Right. And then they would. That's 45 minutes right there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I would just feed them little questions, and they were very happy talking. And you were them. interested in them. Oh, always. Which, you know, always. which they knew. Yeah. So what yeah. are you promoting? What are you doing? What are you really up to these days? Right now, I am. I am uh, a professional artist. Yes. This is, I'm an artist and a potter. Mm -hmm. I teach both painting and pottery, mostly pottery because that just seems to be something that's easier to teach. Um, right now I have a show at the Department of Transportation headquarters in Newington. Okay. Um, it was just a wonderful way I got the show. Mm -hmm. It was my husband's hunting buddy's son who works there, who saw my studio and oh, my nice, work. So nice. networking. Yeah. yeah. And uh, 90 feet of walls. Okay. So I collected all my paintings. Mm -hmm. I have way too many paintings. Uh, I sure hope they find new homes here. Mm -hmm. But um, they have an atrium there. Wow. And the atrium is beautiful, and everybody who works there has to walk through that atrium to get to their offices. So at least four times a day, mm -hmm. they're walking through. Then they have meeting rooms for the public and for engineers and things like that. So some of the paintings I put there are the Mixed Master in Waterbury, oh, nice. uh, a gantry in uh, the Bronx, which is, which is a structure that used to uh, lift railroad cars off of barges onto mm -hmm. the railroad tracks. So I have uh, uh, street scenes and a lot of that kind of mm -hmm. stuff, plus my flowers and my landscapes. It's a beautiful show. So how long, you know, give us the dates on this. Um, it started August 1st and it goes to the end of September. Okay, so people and will. And people can go there and, and request just to go in to see the show. Okay. And it's a beautiful place. It's in Newington. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the building is gorgeous. Nice. To begin with. So, so I'm very lucky to have that going on. Plus, mm -hmm. I'm a member of the Fine Line Art Gallery mm -hmm. in Woodbury, mm -hmm. and we have a lot of events. And Columbus Day weekend oh. at the Litchfield Firehouse, there is a five-day show that I, I will be part of. I remember that last yeah. year. I yeah. can't believe 12 months have almost yes. go by. That's amazing. It's a wonderful show. Yeah, it it's is. a fall gathering yep. of artists, and I'm one of the artists That there. is so neat. So how do so. people get a hold of you? Do they go on Facebook? Uh, you have a social I media? I am on Facebook, and I do have a website, but I am not very organized. Is it email that's better to get a hold email of you? Email is your email? great. It's okay. ctmore.com. 
four mm -hmm. at optonline.net, which is O P T O N L I N E dot net. And my home phone mm -hmm. is eight six zero five six seven zero six one eight and my cell is eight six zero six seven one zero three six seven and I'll answer any cool any call or any email and uh, if somebody wants to talk to me I want to talk to them so do you miss the television show you thinking of maybe coming out of retirement I maybe in the next couple months I can't or? believe how much I miss it you do miss it I I do miss it. I, I, there was something that was kind of exciting about yeah, doing sure. it, yeah. never knowing where it was going to go. Exactly. And um, also the fact that I made people happy. They sure. got to take their uh, the DVD of the show home mm -hmm. with them and got to show it to their families. Exactly. I told them they could use any part of it for advertising. I gave them permission to sure, use it in sure. any way. Yeah. I think you put part of us on uh, YouTube or yeah, something Yeah, YouTube one time. and Facebook. Yeah. Um, I had one guest, she had like 3,000 views just on Facebook. Really? So you never know. Yeah. You never know who's yeah. going to watch it and see it. Um. Um, it's a great thing. Mm -hmm. It's a great, and, and I got to put my own paintings behind me on I my, my uh, wall that I painted. Exactly. I, you know, so it was, it, was, it was my show, and it was a privilege to do it, mm. and an honor. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just wonderful that I was able to, to do that. Right, and for you know. 20 years, yeah. I mean, that's, that's Yeah, dedication. they watched me get old <laughs> on television. I went from darkish hair to this. <laughs> did you did you use the same intro or did you change it up in the last 20 um, years or what did you do from that point of view? Uh, it's a much smaller station okay. than this station okay. and when they made my intro it has stayed. It stayed the same? It stayed the same and I, I would say to them gee we really should update it. Oh, Two yeah. of these guys are dead now. Oh wow. You know because they wow. showed snippets of yeah of, of different old pictures shows. and videos. Yeah. Yeah I remember yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. But the two of the people had died. <laughs> and you never changed it in 20 years? No. Wow. Because I couldn't do it myself. Yeah. I had to depend on them right. and you know it, it was uh, asking too much I think gotcha yeah gotcha. well what you should do is in the negotiation for coming back you should say the new show yeah. and you yeah. want a new intro it would make sense right uh, yeah the new Carol Moore show that's right I, I think that I would, would say uh, the Carol Moore show vignette but would you use your initial T always okay so tell us about that um, my maiden name is Toma mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of relatives okay and the past couple of years, it has just uh, seemed very important to me, instead of having tea, mm -hmm. to just put my name out there. And that's your maiden so, name? My maiden name. Right. So I'm Carol Toma Moore, the T-H-O-M-A. And what's the nationality of that? Uh, my father was German. Okay. And uh, my mother was uh, English, Irish, Scotch, and Welsh. Wow. So you got it covered. Yeah. Heinz 57. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, it, actually, my maiden, my middle name is McRae. Okay, so so is I was, I'm really Carol McRae Toma Moore. Oh my, you need a bigger business yeah, card. Yeah, and the McRae is my mother's maiden name. Okay, and so, is that Scottish? Is that Scottish? Uh, okay, it is yeah, Scottish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, have you? I know you love to travel. Have you been to Scotland? Have you Not been over there? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. I almost got there, and there was a, um, a volcano in Iceland or something like that, and the flights were all canceled, so yeah. I couldn't go. I was supposed to go to Scotland a couple years ago, and we canceled. Yeah. Uh, I do Israel. I love Israel. I've been. To, I know you've been to Italy. I love Italy, but I have to branch out. I've been to France and Italy. Okay. Where do you want to go? I would like to go to Spain Very nice. and Portugal. Very nice. Yeah. And of course, I should go to the motherland, which is uh, uh, my mother's uh, Scotland. Uh, there's a castle, a family castle there I should go see. Okay. It's the island Dunnell. I can't say I. It's it's a famous one. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah I haven't been. I know a lot of yeah. people go there to golf. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, know. this uh, we're not golfers. No. <laughs> but this castle is uh, at the McRae Castle, and uh, my mother got to go, oh, and she had nice. her camera, and she took a picture of King James because we're direct descendants of King James. She had her thumb over the lens. Oh, no. We laughed at her <laughs> so much because here you can see a partial picture of the thumb. <laughs> <laughs> now, you do a lot of paintings when you go, right? So you'll take photos and then I, paint, um, paint? I like to go on painting vacations. Okay. Um, if I went to Scotland or in uh, Ireland and England, mm -hmm. and I would probably uh, 
tried to do a painting vacation where mm -hmm. I could sit a day and paint every nice. couple of days, right. you know. And you paint from a photo or you just sit and look at the landscape? Um, I like to paint plain air, which is without a photo, but I take a oh. photo reference. Yeah, nice. I just spent a week in Rockport, Massachusetts. Oh, okay. Uh, with a friend. We were there for five days. I got to paint three days. Oh. So you paint for two hours, two and a half hours. You get a painting that looks pretty darn good, mm -hmm. but it's not done. Oh. So I take a photograph of the scene I painted so that I can finish it in nice. my studio. Nice. And I was doing the back side of the buildings in a harbor, mm -hmm. and there were seven buildings. There was blue ones and gray ones and green ones, and they were so so pretty. I mean, old, old buildings. Sure. And the painting was this shape. Well, when I got it home, I realized that I was painting and my easel was tipped a little bit. They're all <laughs> like this. Oh, no. <laughs> so I've been putting them back together, straightening them out a little bit, <laughs> having funny. to actually use a T-square and drop it to get a straight line okay. and then bringing the belt. Wow. That's wow. very funny. That hasn't happened to me before. <laughs> that is very funny. Yeah. So in the last four or five minutes that we have left, how do you want to be remembered? Legacy, what do you want people to say about what you've done in your life? I would like them to say that she loved life and lived it. You do. You do. Yeah. And you say yes to everything, don't you? I mean, you're pretty adventurous. I'm, yeah. 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 I, I like to kayak. I like mm -hmm. to walk. Mm -hmm. I have three vegetable gardens. Yes. And uh, if I have extra vegetables, I either give them to church to give them to the elderly housing in mm -hmm. Bantam, or I have been known to put a little table down in my driveway and just put them there. Nice. And let people take them. I have bees. Mm -hmm. I just extracted 85 pounds of honey. Wow. To, uh, today, do you, do you I sell it or you just give it away? What do you, um, are you I sell it. People okay. ask me for they do. it. That's yeah, nice. oh, yeah, that's nice. and uh, my bees make great honey. Oh wow! I need to come by and get yes, some. Yes, you, you no, do. No, I didn't know you did that. Yes, yeah. I have. So I, I'm, I'm kind of. Uh, I have flower gardens all over mm -hmm. the house. I love to cook. I'm known for my pickles. Wow. You know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I make dill pickles that have garlic and hot peppers in so them. So you're not bored. You don't let the I, grass grow underneath your feet One time when I was all. a little girl, I said to my mother, I'm I'm bored. I have nothing to do. Mm -hmm. She said, if you're bored, here's a dust, dust cloth. Go dust the living room. I've never been bored since. <laughs> so what, what advice would you give me for interviewing people or just doing a television show? I mean, I've only been doing this for like a year and a half, two years. What would be the, the big advice that you would just give me? Be a great listener. Okay. What you do is you just uh, give them an opening to talk about whatever it is they want to talk about and listen to them. Nice. And respond to them, and then you give them another little, little, mm -hmm. you know, like a little bait for the fish to take another little right. nibble, then they go off in another direction. And if they get too uh, wordy and it becomes what you think is boring, then you just bring them back. And mm -hmm. it's, uh, but I always did the who, what, where, and when. Oh, say that again. Who, what, where, and when? Who are you? What do you do? Why do you do it? When do you do it? Nice. You know. I remember you sharing that yeah. with me a couple yeah. of years yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of cool. I mean, it's when you have a guest like tonight. I'm talking about me. I know more about me than anybody else does. And I'm interested, and I'm listening, and yeah. I know you, and we go back yeah. a couple of years, yeah. and it, it's yeah. easy. It's not yeah. that difficult. And this is fun. It is this fun. This is fun for me. So give your email out again. Okay. Uh, CT Moore mm -hmm. four at optonline.net and my phone number. Mm -hmm. Home phone is 860-567-0618 and uh, cell is 860-671-0367. And you know I can say that without, I can be thinking of something else and say That's that. That's amazing. Because I said it so many times on television. Wow. You know? We're going to have to have you back and we're going to have to have everybody watching this right now to call Channel 5 to get you back at vignette what do you think of that wow it thank was, you so much this <laughs> I was wonderful it. thank you thank you we'll be back next time okay. this was wonderful <laughs>